Well, good morning, everybody, and thank you so much for joining us here at our Shippensburg location. My name's Louis Sheets. I am a uh, Sheets family member, retired chief marketing officer, but currently serve as uh, on the board of directors. And it's my pleasure to welcome you here to Shippensburg. This is, uh, this is a big day for us. This is a really big day, because in just a few short minutes, Sheets will officially be in the wine business, and we're excited about that. It's been a big year for the state, as, uh, as many food and convenience stores across the state continue to open their doors for the sale of beer and wine. It's been an outstanding year so far, and probably an even bigger year and a bigger day today for the customers of Pennsylvania, who have been yearning for the opportunity to be able to stop and buy a bottle of wine buy a six pack of beer at the same place they stopped on their way home to refill and refuel their vehicle. So it's indeed a big day for all of Pennsylvania. It's a proud day too. I'll tell you, it's a proud day for us at Sheets. I'm very proud of the Sheets organization. We've been long standing a voice in the continued drive for reform of the state's adult beverage sales laws and we have stuck with it. It has been a battle. Uh, it has been an issue that has had uh, a lot of uh, small victories, some uh, major and smaller setbacks along the way, but we have persevered and stuck to the plan to try and bring alcohol reform to the state of Pennsylvania. I'm proud of uh, our governor's office. I'm very proud of our state legislature. You know, they have faced a ton of opposition uh, not just outside of Harrisburg, but inside Harrisburg as well, and across many communities across the Commonwealth who have issued some opposition to any reform at all to the, the liquor laws that have been in effect for a very long time. And I'm very, very proud of our Sheets employees. You know, when they have been given or they've secured the opportunity to sell adult beverages. They've done it with great professionalism. They've done it with great care for our customer. And they've done it with a tremendous amount of respect for the laws and policies that govern how we sell adult beverages in this state. We have worked hard. The state has worked hard. But I will tell you, nobody has worked harder than some of the gentlemen that are with us here today First, I'd like to introduce to you the guy who, whose dog determination to make sure that alcohol reform has happened in this Commonwealth is Speaker of the House, Mr. Mike Terzai. Louis, um, thank you so much uh, for inviting me here today. Uh, with me is uh, my very close friend and our chair, of the uh, Liquor Control Oversight Committee, Adam Harris. Adam, if you'll just join up here with me, please, that'd be great. Thanks, Adam. And uh, first of all, to all the Sheets employees here in the Shippensburg number uh, 70 store, um, it's such an honor to be in your, uh, in your home. And uh, Louie, how many Sheets stores do you have in Pennsylvania now? 253 sheet stores. Uh, there's one a half a mile from my house in, in Wexford that I'm in quite often. And um, I know that, you know, this is a Pennsylvania-based company too, uh, you know, located in, in the Altoona um, area. Sheets is, is, is just a, a great employer in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And it's a great provider, a great provider of food and uh, gas services and beverages to uh, the citizens of Pennsylvania. And I know, I know their operation extends well beyond Pennsylvania, but 253 stores and their employees, let me tell you, no matter where I go, and I, I stop at Sheets regularly, their employees are always so friendly, always so professional, and uh, it's, just, it's just an honor to be a part, a part of this with all of you today. Thank you so much for, for inviting us. Uh, folks, I, I just want to tell you that I'm, I'm standing here in this um, Shippensburg store. Shippensburg, what a great 
great town. Uh, and, and there's this selection of wine that is now going to be offered uh, to the customers of Sheets. And here's the thing. They're going to do that when people come up and want to, want to have an opportunity to buy a bottle of wine. Everybody's getting carded. And there are consequences if you don't card. And, and a place like Sheets, which is so professional, is going to be, be at the forefront of making sure that only those who are of age can buy. But on the other hand, adults should have the opportunity to be able to purchase um, wine and beer in a store where they make other purchases. And uh, it's, it's, it's about convenience. But it's beyond convenience. It's about moving into the 21st century. Pennsylvania and Utah are the only states with a complete monopoly. The private sector in so many other states, so many other states adjoining Pennsylvania, allow the sale of wine and, and uh, beer in their stores, in their private sector stores. And people think that Pennsylvania is so backwards. That's what the, 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 you always hear. And here's the other thing, we're gonna have additional revenues to the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania by the opportunity to sell in private sector locations like Sheets. Now, I just wanna give you some updated uh, statistics. Since we passed the law, back in June, and uh, it took effect August 8th. The wine expanded permits, uh, there have been over 309 stores with wine expanded permits. Now keep in mind, those stores that already have the quote unquote R licenses are the first to be able to get uh, these wine expanded permits, like, like this particular Sheets location. And we're also having direct wine shipments as well and there have been 662 applications all across the state. Uh, there will be another round of auctions with respect to licenses. We'll be, be you know, on top of the LCB to make sure that occurs. But the fact of the matter is, is that folks with, with a forethought, th folks with vision like Louis Sheets and his team are making it possible that wine is available to Pennsylvania citizens. I want to just thank a, a, a few other um, Folks, uh, I, I know that uh, Louie has with him from Sheets, uh, Gary Zimmerman, Jerry Weger, Josh Campbell, Deb Scordo, Paul Crozier, Betsy Myers. They're all with uh, the operations, the headquarters, and then all of these great employees that you see here today. Please make sure you say hello to them. So thank you so much. I'm going to turn it over uh, to my uh, colleague and our liquor control oversight chair, Adam Harris. Thank you, Michael. I really cannot stress enough to, to follow up on what Louis said. We would not be here today if it wasn't for the perseverance and tenacity of Speaker Terzai. Uh, he fought this issue dating back probably 10 years ago when it was extremely unpopular. There were some really powerful forces coming out against this. And this is really a win today for consumers. Uh, it's a win for the speaker. It's a win for the legislature and the governor. We were able to work in a bipartisan fashion today to get us where we are here today. And we're finally gonna start looking like our neighbor states, which is generally what I hear from all the people I talk to in my district. Why can't we just be like everyone around us? So to all of you in the media, thank you for coming out. Um, Speaker Terzai, congratulations. And Mr. Sheets, thank you very much for having us. And congratulations to you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Representative Harris. I would like to introduce next the chairman of the Pennsylvania Liquor Control Board, Mr. Tim Holden. Thank you, Louis. Thank you very much. And good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great honor to be here with the speaker and with the chairman, who we, the board had a very nice meeting with the chairman yesterday talking about his new assignment and look forward to working with you, Mr. Chairman. I have to tell you a story. My um, niece graduated from uh, Shippensburg. Well, you really shouldn't talk about a woman's age, but she's 43. And I uh, called her last night and said, Kelly, I have a pretty good idea where I'm going, but can you tell me how to get to the sheets uh, near the university? And she told me how to get here, and, and she said, what are you going down there for, Uncle Tim? I, and I explained to her what, what I was doing here, and she said, wine and beer at sheets. Wow, is what she said. So, <laughs> so as, as the speaker mentioned, you know, the, this is a a modernization effort that's the, going on with, in conjunction and cooperation with the General Assembly and, and with the governor 
and the Pennsylvania Liquor Control Board's responsibility is to execute and administer whatever the will of the governor and the General Assembly is. And I can tell you that I spoke to the governor many times about this issue, and he spoke to the board, and his office called me the other day and asked me to represent him here today. And what the governor is most concerned about is consumer convenience. He wants to make it as convenient as possible for the consumers of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And Act 39 took large steps in moving forward in that effort. Uh, as the speaker mentioned, we have over 300 applicants for wine expanded permits. 198 have been issued. Uh, we anticipate that getting close to 600 this year and, and growing upon that next year as more R licenses are purchased and, and more wine expanded permises, per, uh, permits are, are issued. So we think this is a win-win for the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. The governor believes that. The governor also believes in the Pennsylvania Liquor Control Board. He took time out of his busy schedule to come and meet with all the employees at the Northwest Office Building, not just for us to call him into the auditorium and have him talk to them in sort of a lecture type of setting. He went from office to office and met with every employee and asked them what they did and told them that he believes in us and he wants us to do the best we can for the citizens of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And this right here is a shining example of that. We are also rebranding our stores to make sure that we're making the investment in our stores for a shopping experience uh, in the fine wine and good spirit stores. We also have expanded Sunday sales. It never made sense for the uh, fine wine and good spirit stores not to be open on the second busiest shopping day of the year, so we're able to do that. So this is a combined effort working with the governor and working with the General Assembly where we can move forward and have a partnership with the private sector and at the same time have our fine wine and good spirit store expand on the opportunities that they're going to allow to the citizens of the Commonwealth. And I also would like to echo what the speaker said about the Sheets family. I had the honor and privilege of serving in Congress for 20 years and I served with Congressman Bud Schuster and Congressman Bill Schuster and they had nothing but great things to say about the Sheets family. Uh, what, not only what you do for consumers and, and what you do for local economies, but how well you treat your employees and what a good corporate citizen you are. So this is a win-win for the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. I'm honored to be here to represent uh, Governor Wolf, and I'm also honored to be here as chairman of the Liquor Control Board and look forward to many more of these across the Commonwealth and at a few more sheets as well. I think you have one in Pottsville and you have one in Schuylkillhaven, if I'm right there, in my home county. So thank you very much. Thank you, Chairman Holden. I'm looking for Laura because I'm thirsty. I was supposed to have a drink up here. Oh, that's that's even better right there than a glass of water. My goodness. Well, we would we would like to have just a quick toast to the festivities today. I'm gonna allow some uh, champagne flutes to be distributed there. Press. I don't think they have any for you. I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it, but there is plenty of wine here. So, and with that, it's coming your way. Nate, there it is. Cheers. 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 Okay. A toast, if I could, to a new era in the retail of alcoholic beverages in the state of Pennsylvania, and more importantly, to continued progress and improvement in the laws for the convenience of the Pennsylvania consumer. Here, here. <laughs>